In this video, we're learning about the new sculpting features in Blender 2.81. So the first thing you're going to need to do is reset your brushes because their settings have been changed in this version. This includes the new brushes like Draw Sharp and just go ahead and do that for all the brushes. Next, you should probably set it as your startup file so that you don't have to go ahead and redo that every single time you start sculpting. There's a new method of sculpting. Instead of using Dyn Topo, you can use Remesh instead. With this, you can sculpt without Dyn Topo and then Remesh to get more topology when needed. This prevents the lag associated with Dyn Topo. So you can just set the size and hit remesh. And now it's a denser mesh to work on. It's not a horrible idea to go ahead and save right before you remesh, just in case you might get a crash or something. The first new sculpting brush is draw sharp, which draws inwards by default and creates a sharp shape. Good for creases. It's similar to the crease brush, except for the crease brush, kind of does a little bit of a pinching in effect. Next we have the Elastic Deform brush, which is similar to a tool that Disney used. It creates effects similar to the grab brush or the scale brush based off of your setting here. And it preserves the volume, so it kind of makes a stretchy effect if you move stuff around over the whole model. Next, we've got the Pose Brush, which allows you to pose things easier. You'll probably need a little bit of cleanup after a pose, but it's the easiest and fastest way to pose something like an ear or an arm. It poses anything within the circle with the dot at the end of the little line as where the joint will be. Next, we got the mesh filter, which applies an effect to the entire mesh. Here we got inflate. You can change it to other ones such as smooth. Or scale. Or sphere. As well as random. Next, we got translation tools like move which allows you to move your mesh. You can also mask out parts of your mesh to move just parts of it. We also got rotate, which allows you to rotate. And as you can see, it is affected by the symmetry. And we got scale too. If you mask part of your sculpt, you can now go to mask, mask extract to extract that piece. And then you can have extract as solid which gives you a thickness, and then you can use this to make something like clothes. Next, you can expand mask by topology. This works by expanding from the point that you hover over. You can also expand mask by curvature the same way with Shift-Alt-A. Probably noticed that the brush circle is now affected by the angle of the surface that it's hovering over. There's a setting called normal radius under brush. It determines what area to pick the normal and average it out for your brush. So if you put it smaller, it's going to cling more to a smaller point. And if you make it bigger, it's going to cling to a farther area, so it's going to be more averaged out to the general surface angle. Another option we have is topology auto masking. And what that does is, say if I had two meshes in this sculpt, if I moved my cursor over to the other mesh, it won't affect it at all. Another feature is currently one that only shows up when you have a modifier. And on the grab brush, when grab active vertex is enabled and what it does is it shows the topology underneath so that you can see what you're grabbing 
We can talk about remeshing again. If we go to our data tab under remesh, we got two different modes, voxel, which is what you're using sculpting. Again, you can set the size and hit remesh and it will be remeshed based off of voxels and volume. Also, if I added another mesh that's intersecting, such as this cube, and I voxel remesh, it will combine it similar to a boolean. This is now the fastest way to combine other meshes with your sculpt. You got options like fixed poles to reduce the amount of poles, smooth normals, and preserve volume, which prevents your sculpt from shrinking every time you remesh. We also got quad remesh, which is more for a final retopology. It's got options like paint symmetry, which will use your sculpt symmetry setting. Now the results that you get from it aren't really that good yet, but it could be okay to use as a base for your retopology, where you'll delete the problem areas and redo them by hand. And hopefully over time, this feature will improve. If you guys found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and then hit that notification bell. That'll really help my channel grow. Thank you for watching.